to my virtual poster presentation for the 16th Congress of the European Association of Agricultural Economists, organized from Prague, and I'm presenting from Nayarit, Mexico. I will present my paper entitled Development, Economic Growth and Species Endangerment coming Friday during the pen ultimate session of the Congress. I look forward to your questions and suggestions there or by email. Thank you in advance. This presentation builds on work I have published in 2019, where I used IUC and red list data to explore regional variation in expected extinction rates. I wished to express the regional variation relative to background extinction, where I took the upper bound estimate of one extinction per million species years from Rockström et al. The planetary boundary, as expressed by the same authors, is set at 10, and later Stefan et al added a zone of uncertainty up to 100. Slightly over half of global land mass and all of the oceans currently face expected extinction rates that exceed the planetary boundary beyond uncertainty. The map illustrates that one finds the highest expected extinction rates in tropical regions and on islands. My map also suffers from a form of map distortion due to the double counting of species with large ranges. The global extinction rate is roughly 750 times the background rate and at 15% 15, 15 of its theoretical maximum under the assumptions spelled out in the paper. The work I present today is inspired by this map distortion. In the 2019 publication, I had also used ordinary least square regression analysis to explore the association with GDP per capita, where I found species endangerment increase with GDP per capita. For this paper, I decided to organize my data on the species level. I inspected nearly 10% of the 2019 IUCN red list and chose to include in my sample only small ranged species that are endemic to one region as indicated by the IUCN. For these endemic species, I created two dummy variables, threatened and decreasing. Threatened was available for 3,500 observations and is one for the categories vulnerable, endangered, and critically endangered, and zero for species that are near threatened or of least concern. Decreasing equals one for species with a decreasing population trend and zero otherwise. Subsequently, I matched the species assessment variables to regional GDP data and other controls as used in SOL 2019. The OLS regression results show the opposite relation between species endangerment to GDP per capita as compared to SOL 2019. Based on the analysis with small range species, species endangerment decreases with GDP per capita. In brief, in 2019, I found that species endangerment increases with income per capita when organizing 2016 IUCN data by region. Here, I have analyzed a subsample of small ranged mammals and plants that suggest the opposite association. My best explanation for this paradoxical finding so far is that the association with GDP is estimated over a rather different part of the income distribution. Together, these findings suggest that poverty is more harmful to biodiversity than affluence. I look forward to hearing your alternative explanations coming Friday and thank you for your attention.